Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We've got a little WooCommerce site here, just a very simple site with a few products on it. And we're going to demonstrate the new WooCommerce cart and checkout options from Divi. We did a little overview in it in the last video. And for instance, here's a regular sort of cart checkout, not very exciting. We're going to turn this into a custom one. Something with a little countdown, which links to a sales page, some more interesting buttons and fields and a little related products. You can go to town, you can do what you want. We've kept this fairly simple, but I'm just going to show you how to create a custom cart page and assign it to your WooCommerce. So whenever they click on the cart, it'll take them to this page automatically. OK, well, let's get started. First thing that we need to do is add a new page. Give it a title, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, I'm going to use the Divi Builder. OK, I'm going to build from scratch. I'm going to add single column, single row right there. Now, if we scoot down to the bottom here, Divi comes with all these modules as standard, plenty enough to build any site. As we've got WooCommerce installed, it's added the Woo modules right here. If you click on that, it brings up all our nice Woo modules. Now, it starts off, you can start off with breadcrumbs at the top. But I'm going to go ahead and put in our cart products. That means in any products that anybody's added to their cart will be shown here. Move this over to the left. And there it is. Pretty standard. That's what I got in the cart at the moment. If we look elements, you can show product image, coupon code if there is one, update cart button, remove icon. I'm happy to have all of those there. So I'm going to leave those all on yes. Background, I don't want to change the background color, but I am going to do a few little design options here. Let's go into the design. Layout wise, I'm going to leave it as it is, but you can actually change it to horizontal or vertical if you prefer. Now to the text. I'm fairly happy with the way the text is looking, so I'm not going to change that. As usual, Divi's got huge amount of fonts and stars for you to add. Table headers up here. I think I want to make the background blue and perhaps make those white. So here's the table header. Background color, make that blue. Now I'm simply going to make my text white. Let's roll on down a little bit. Body text, I'm actually happy with the way that is. So I'm not going to do anything. I'll just pop in there. You can change the link color or the regular stars for the text as well right in there. And you've got all the usual alignment, capitalization and color options. Now here's our little tables right here. I don't want to do too much with them, but you can add all kind of styles to them if you want to. I'm going to leave just as they are. Now you can have table border colors here. You can take them away if you don't want any borders there. But I'm going to leave mine just as they are for those as well. Rows and cells, again, I'm going to leave those as they are. Remove icon, you can make it bigger, smaller, change the color. I'm quite happy with the red X. That's pretty standard and it lets people know. You can change your image here by giving it rounded corners and borders, box shadows and hues and saturation. Again, I'm just going to leave mine just as it is. Now we've got fields here. Placeholder color, that's the, the little thing that's in there. I'm going to turn that to white. As you can see, the coupon codes are turned white there. Field background color, well, for the I'm going to make that blue as well. That'll make our nice white writing stand out a bit better. And the text color, I want to take that a bit brighter. So I'm going to make that white. There we go. And you can change the focus background, the hover background by standard Divi theme. If you hover over the dark writing, you'll find a little arrow there. Or if, there, if there's a hover option, you'll find a little arrow there. If you click on it, you can set a hover state and a desktop state. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Now let's just go and make these buttons slightly more exciting here. So if we go down a little bit, we'll go down to button right there. I'm going to use custom styles. Again, I'll keep this fairly simple. Text I'll leave just as it is. I'm going to turn the text white in color. It'll disappear into the white background there. But I'm going to give our button a purple background. There we are. You can see the writing again there. You can give it a gradient. 
or an image background if you want to but that's fine with me and let's just give the border a purple color as well and we can slide down a bit more and just give it a bit of box shadow to make it stand out you've got all the other button settings there with icons and things like that to change great i'm happy with that let's go down and we'll do the disable button here update cart because we haven't changed anything so it's disabled and i'm just going to do the same thing i'm going to have it the same color exactly text white background purple and of course as usual you can set your hover state with the little arrow if you want to great that's fine for that little module for me so let's add another woo module and we'll better have the totals underneath there so let's add another module zoom down to the bottom again click on the woo modules and here we go we put in our cart products so let's put in the totals down below and there it is right there again I'm not going to spend too much time on it title text I'm going to make that blue it's absolutely fine column labels let's make those blue as well there we go body text I'll leave as it is the actual tables and table rows themselves you can go in there you can do all kinds of things star wise background colors box shadows you can give it an inner shadow if you want to make it stand out like that let's just leave that like that and let's roll down you can do rows and cells I'm gonna leave those just as they are but play with them if you want to adjust things this makes it so much easier than using custom CSS and last but not least I'm gonna go in I'm going to use the custom styles for the button and make them like my other purple buttons up there. So it's white text, purple background, and purple border, and a little bit of box shadow on the bottom. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now I'd like to add some related products below. Perhaps they'd like to see something else. And I've also got a sales page up here. I'd like to have a countdown timer that'll take them to the sales page for sales item. So let's save this. We'll add a new little module under here. And of course, I'm doing this very quickly. You want to think about your page and you can do columns and all kinds of things. It's pretty unlimited. So again, we want to go down to the Woo modules. And I'm just going to put related products to whatever they put in the cart. There it is right on the bottom right there. And you can change the amount and the amount of columns again i'm going to leave mine just like that that works fine for me well, let's just add a little countdown module and see if we can entice our people once they're in their cart to do a little more shopping so let's add a new module this time i'm going to use a regular divi module i'm going to just use a countdown timer and there it is as you can see right there set the date for how long you want it to count down to I'm going to go down. I want to link it to my sales page, so I'm going to right click and copy link address. I'm going to put my sales page in there. You can actually take the main URL away if you want to. I'll leave it there though, just for convenience. Actually, I want to change that background color to our blue, and we're good to go on that. And then just Pop this module up to the top of the page so it can be easily seen when you grab the little handle left click and just pull it up and drop him at the top there and there we go there's my new little cart page so when you're happy I mean like I say you can go to town but I'll leave mine here when you're happy just hit the save changes and let's publish our page so we can use it okay if we actually go back let's exit the visual builder let's go to the home page now of course we've assigned we've created our new page but if we look at our cart we go up here to the cart to look at it it's going to take us to the old cart page so we have to assign our new page to the shopping cart page and it's really easy to do so let's go back to the dashboard we'll go down to WooCommerce 
and down to settings. And if we roll over to the advanced tab over here, you can set the individual pages. Here's the cart page. There's the checkout page, account page, terms, and conditions, secure. For our cart page, we want to add our new page here. So a little drop down arrow. It was called new cart. So let's write new. It's searching for it. There it is at the bottom, new cart, ID 943. Once done, let's roll down to the bottom of the page and save the changes. Now, if we visit our site and hit the cart right here, as you can see, it's now taking us to our new cart page. And that's a wonderful little update. I've done this on loads of sites and I have to go in there and redesign it with custom CSS. These new additions really make it easy and that's a much more interesting sort of checkout and cart page than you'd get on a normal generic WooCommerce site. So I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. In the next video we'll show you how to do the same thing with your actual checkout page. Once again this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.